हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल पिक फन मेडी कोर्सेज होप यू विल बी फाइन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर लेटेस्ट मेडिकल अपडेट्स एंड कलरफुल वीडियोस माय मोटो इज मेडिसिन शुड बी इंटरेस्टिंग टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द साइंस ऑफ मेनिंजियल इरिटेशन और साइंस ऑफ मेनिंजाइटिस सो there are three important signs of meningitis next stiffness kernick sign and brusinski sign today i will discuss in detail about the kernick sign that is the important sign to diagnose the meningitis what is meningitis it is the inflammation of the meninges what are the meninges these are the coverings around the brain and spinal cord there are three main coverings dura mater arachnoid mater and pia mater dura mater is the toughest layer or durable layer arachnoid mater is in the form of mesh or net and pia mater it is the thinner most layer these three layers are around the brain and spinal cord dura mater is outermost layer arachnoid mater is the layer between the dura mater and pia mater and pia mater is the lower most layer and it cover the spinal cord and the brain you can easily remember these three layers of the meninges by this mnemonic d for dura mater a for arachnoid mater and p for pia mater dura is the outermost layer between dura and arachnoid mater is the subdural space and between arachnoid mater and pia mater is the subarachnoid space what is the difference between meningitis and meningism as we know meningitis is the inflammation of the meninges so inflammation of the dura mater arachnoid mater and pia mater is called meningitis and meningism or pseudo meningitis is a set of symptoms similar to those of meningitis but is caused by non meningitic irritation of the meninges usually associated with febrile illness especially in children and adolescents what is the most specific sign of the meningitis study was done on 297 patients with suspected meningitis to determine the diagnostic accuracy of kernick sign study showed that kernick sign is 95% specific and 57% sensitive and which one is the most sensitive sign in 1909 brusinski reported that Brusinski sign is 96% sensitive and Kernick sign is 57% sensitive sensitive so Brusinski sign is the most sensitive test and Kernick sign is the most specific test of the meningitis how to elicit the Kernick sign in step 1 patient is positioned in supine in step 2 one leg is slightly elevated or raised and in step 3 hip joint and knee joint are flexed to 90 degree knee is slowly extended upward and if patient feel pain then kernick sign is positive usually after 135 degree extension of the knee joint patient feel pain if the kernick sign is positive or if the there are the inflammation there is the inflammation of the meninges 
this test this test is repeated on both legs what is the pathophysiology or mechanism of the kernick sign the pain felt on kernick sign is due to the meningeal irritation caused by the movement of the spinal cord within the inflamed meninges so meninges are inflamed in meningitis when we move the leg or we try to extend the leg at knee joint spinal cord move and it causes the irritation of the inflamed meninges this causes the pain so pathophysiology of the kernick sign is the meningeal irritation caused by the spinal cord within the inflamed meninges kernick sign is positive in meningitis and also in case some cases of subarachnoid hemorrhage these both sign kernick sign and brusinski sign are always confusing so there is a simple mnemonic to remember these signs in word kernick the alphabet is k and in word knee alphabet is k and k is for kick so remember k for kernick k for knee k for kick k for kernick k for knee k for kick k for kernick k for knee k for kick so by this you can remember the kernick sign is done on the knee and it is for kick and brusinski sign the word brusinski has alphabet b and b is bent neck so b for brusinski and b for bent neck b for brusinski and b for bent neck so by this simple mnemonic you can easily remember brusinski is for the bent neck and is done during bending of the neck and kernick is for the knee by extending the knee so thanks for watching please subscribe my channel for other interesting grateful videos